So I'm here with Vicky. Uh, Vicky is a Cornish Rural Nappy Project volunteer. Vicky, what, what is a Cornish Rural Nappy Project volunteer? What does that mean? Um, well, I have two different roles. I hold a trial bucket, so when someone in the vicinity near me wants to have a go at real nappies and try lots of different types um, before they commit to buying, I have one of those trial packs that I take out, talk the, um, talk the families through what they're doing and give them any advice and leave the bucket with them for a month before I go and collect it. And I also hold a demonstration pack for nappuccinos where I go into coffee mornings, and um, take some tea and coffee and cakes with me um, into toddler groups and I'm available to talk to, to um, mums or dads if they want to. I'm presuming you don't get paid to do that, so what, that, th is that a lot of work? Um, it, I guess as a volunteer you can do as little or as much as you like. Um, certainly the Nappuccino side was probably more when my, my children were toddlers and were going into toddler groups and I would go in, in with them and it was much easier to do. Um, the trial buckets, they go out for a month at a time, so it's a, a once a month trip really. And how, and how long do you spend with the, uh, with the family who's, who's going to be using the trial kit? I spend as long as, I, as, I, as they need really, but I would say probably half an hour to 45 minutes is about usual. Okay, and um, so that's, that, that, that happens about twice a month, does it? No, about once a month. They um, will hold the bucket for a month. Right. Okay. And um, what, what what really attracted you to sort of volunteering for a project like this? Um, I have two children, both of whom were in uh, real nappies. I think one of the biggest deciding factors for me was I have a younger sister who is uh, she's 23, and she was one of the first of the generation who was in disposable nappies. And one of the biggest things that affects me is the thought that all the nappies that she was in are in existence somewhere in the world still. Um, whereas being able to have the opportunity to take a trial kit when my children were small and have someone to talk to and, and to try out different nappies made a real difference to me and, and helped me, I think, be able to stay the course with real nappies through both their um, nappy time. A lot of people say that it's a real hassle and with, with two young children, um, uh, have you got a job as well? Yes, I work part time. So how did you cope with all that? Was it a hassle? No, not really. I think you have so many changes when you become a mum anyway that it was it just became part of the new routine that I had being being a new mum. Um, you do an awful lot of washing when, when you've got babies and nappies just go in the wash like everything else does. So no, to me personally it wasn't any extra work and in fact um, the fact that my shopping bills were so much lower than a lot of my friends seemed to be an advantage. Did you really notice that or, or is that just a myth? No, 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 really did not. Um, having had the trial kit, I, I then found that the nappy that suited my children best was the Terry Towling, which was really interesting because it was when I when I thought about it, it was the one, to, the one nappy I really didn't want. Um, but it worked the best and it was a lot easier than I thought. Um, and bizarrely, my mum had kept my nappies from when I was um, a child so a lot of the Terry's nappies that I use for the boys came from from my own nappies which is real reuse and um, we then obviously bought some lovely wraps and things and the nighttime nappy we used a pocket nappy because we could stuff it full of lots of things um, so between the two of them probably 200 250 pounds in total on on two children on two children but obviously a lot of the Terry nappies I was using were hand-me-downs so really, the, the cost saving there is absolutely huge compared to disposables then? Yes, definitely. Okay, well finally, um, for, for parents who are thinking about using real nappies but are not sure, um, you know, don't quite want to uh, jump into it, what, what sort of advice would you give to them? I think um, getting yourself into a scheme with, where you can um, have a go at a trial bucket like I did is, is really invaluable because I've spoken to a lot of people who made the decision before they had their babies and they went out and they bought a set of nappies only to find actually that nappy shape didn't suit their children um, so they then ended up having to buy a whole new system um, ha having a go at the trial bucket when you've got a head, your head around having had a baby means that you seem that you're um, going to get a nappy that suits you best and hopefully you'll be able to stick at it better I also think you know even 
if you don't feel as a lifestyle that you can you can give yourself over to completely to real nappies even just using real nappies when you're around the house um, every time you use a real nappy it's, it's one less disposable going into landfill and as I said for me that's a, that's a really big point also having go real or, or some similar thing there and available at the end of the phone so if you've got any problems which you know as a, as a tired mum you quite often go ah help having someone at the end of the phone that that has been a mum and has some real practical knowledge is, is a huge help so well thank you Vicky that's a real help um, and I know that will be really valuable I think to many parents out there who are umming and ahhing about real nappies um, for any further information um, I think people can go and see Go Real at www.goreal.org.uk where there's a host of information um, and also for local authorities who are interested in running trial kit schemes um, certainly you can get more information there. Thank you. Thank you.